training been this week? You, you guys are used to short weeks, obviously, by now. But uh, first one this year that you've had to go through, and how do you think training's gone so far? Yeah, everything's been good. The guys are in, uh, in good spirits. We've been getting through some uh, some processes that we want to look at. We obviously have a uh, tricky game coming up on Wednesday in the, in the cup competition. You know, these are single game matches, uh, and that's what makes cup competition special. It's an important one for us. We want to make sure we're moving past to the next round, but we got a difficult opponent uh, coming in here on Wednesday night. Is that why you called it a tricky matchup? Just that you you don't know necessarily what you're to expect? Yeah, they're not a team that obviously is, is part of this league or is, is an MLS. Uh, they're a team that's at the beginning of their season in, in PLSQ, so a lot of the information we have on them is from uh, from last season. And we know for them this is a massive match. They're going to come in here and they're going to pour their heart into the game, and we have to make sure that we're smart and we do the exact same thing. You know, these games need energy. and. Uh, you know, like I said, they're single games, um, so you got to make sure that your concentration is full tactically, that we're very good, and we come out here and have a good performance. When you're training, um, how important is tempo? As a coach, do you focus much on the tempo of, of the practice? Tempo is one of the most important things from the beginning of training to the end of training. We like to get on the field, and from the moment uh, we get going, we go until, uh, until we stop because the game is the exact same way. Um, so there's not a lot of uh, stoppages in training. There's not a lot of talking in the... Uh, Let's say in, in dead periods, a lot of it is in motion. Uh, we try and mimic the game as much as possible in training, and I think that's one thing that's getting better and better each week. Yeah, and you're always focused on the next match. At the back of your mind, though, there is another match coming up a few days later um, after Wednesday. So how do you, as a coach, just try and kind of prioritize what's what's next and but also keep in mind that you have another game coming up? Yeah, the simplest thing is uh, your most important game is always your next one, which is Wednesday. So that's my most important game. I'll think of uh, Saturday's game on Thursday, and that's uh, the approach I've always taken uh, with the team and the, and the staff. Uh, the pre-work is always done ahead of time for our next uh, one to two matches. So staff is working on that beforehand, uh, but for me, it's it's only about this match uh, on Wednesday night, and after that, we'll deal with who comes next. I think that's the most important way to do it uh, because there's no reason to look past your opponents. Yeah, and so uh, lineup decisions will that the fact that you play another game soon after won't be factored into what you do with the lineup? No, we go into each game to use the lineup that we think gets us the result and the best result in, the, in that match, and then we go from there. One thing we can't do is predict the future. Come on, 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 come on,